Hi guys and welcome to the Aging Games where I talk about all things related to health, anti-aging and beauty and especially for ladies over 50. Today I'm going to talk to you about microneedling and I will also show you how I do the microneedling myself for my face, my neck and also for my scalp to help the hair grow. Now microneedling has been around for a long time and there are many different ways to do it. It's perfectly safe to do it at home for yourself. There are different things that you can use like for example there are these micro needling rollers that you can use and they come in various depths. What I would recommend if you're using it at home is not to go too deep. So there are professional ones that you can buy also for yourself. But if you're going really deep, then it's better to go to a salon or to a doctor's or to a clinic and have it done there. But like I said, there's so many options for these. But what I'm gonna be using today is actually a micro needling machine. So it's a, it's a professional machine. This is the head. It has, I can't see too well, but I think it has nine tiny needles inside. And when I turn this on, it'll be rotating and I can, I can change the depth of how deep I want to go. I'm not gonna be going too deep today. Just do like a superficial one. There are different things that you can use. Like some people just use the micro needling on its own, for example, to help acne or other people use it in combination with different kind of serums, you can use hyaluronic acid, you can use vitamin C, you can use, like this one is a stem cell, stem cell revitalizing solution, which I absolutely adore. It comes in this beautiful box, and these two things I have to mix together to use. And then for the hair, I will be using these hair growth formulas. But like I said, there are so many options, like even if you just go on Amazon and search for microneedling serums, the only thing that's that's really important that it has to be for injection, so it has to be injectable proof. You can't just use any kind of serum that you have at home because you are going under the skin and you don't want to get an infection. So you have to make sure that everything is sterile. For example, if you're using these, you can reuse these over and over again, but you have to make sure you're disinfecting it every after every use. And the best way to do that, you can buy some alcohol spray and you can spray it and then make sure you store it back in its case. Now with my machine, it works a little bit differently. I have these cartridges that come with it. And then every time I use it, I just change the cartridge. And this is, comes in a completely sterile package as well. So I have this all ready to go. And I'll be mixing up my serum now. Now my face is all ready to go for the micro needling. I've cleansed my face and also I've put some numbing cream on about half an hour before some medicine. I don't always do this. It really depends on how deep I'm going to go, but today I just did it just to be comfortable. You can choose to do it with or without it, depending on what your pain tolerance is. So I'm just mixing the stem cells here. And then the other thing that you can do, there is some um, specific products that you can use for pigmentation, for example, which was a big problem for me. And microneedling is really great for pigmentation of any kind, acne scars, fantastic for acne scars. You can also use it on the body. So you can use it for scars, you can use it for stretch marks, for skin laxity, all kinds of things. It's really great, great for wrinkles. You can go right around the eyes to help get rid of the fine lines there. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. You also, if you go to a salon, you can have it done with your own blood, with your plasma, which I have a video about as well. And I just absolutely love having that done. It's like one of my favorite treatments. So now I've got this all mixed and I need to get it back into the small bottle. And then I should be ready to go in a couple of minutes and hopefully it's numb enough so that I won't actually feel anything at all. And you can change the speed on this. You can have it on a higher speed, lower speed, so whatever is comfortable for you. So it's quite cool, I love this machine. So the machine's on, as you can hear, it's vibrating. It has a nice gentle vibration to it. I'm gonna pause it for a second. My machine has a little window here where I can actually drop the serum in, which is pretty cool. And then, here we go. So I just go in like circular motion. I'm starting under the eye. You can start really anywhere you like. Some people start in the forehead. And again, with the roller, it will be different. You know, you'll be rolling it on your skin. But I've seen now that, you know, you don't need to have this professional machine that I have. They have like these little pens that you can buy and you can put the serum inside the pen and it works on a different, I mean, it works kind of the same way as this one does. As you can see, my face is starting to get a little bit red. 
Now, if you don't go too deep with this, then there's no downtime at all. It may be a little bit red tomorrow, but hard, you hardly notice. If you go deeper, if you go to a salon to have this done, it's quite possible that you will be red for a couple of days and your skin may peel. Like after this, I'll probably have like a light peeling a week or a few days later, but that's about it. But it can be actually a quite a deep peel when you're having it done professionally. It really depends on the depth of the treatment. Now you can go right over this area here, which is a problem area, especially after menopause, these little smokers lines start forming, whether you smoke or not. But this really helps. Helps boost collagen, rejuvenates your skin more quickly, elastin, all the good stuff. You really see the difference. Like when you're doing this on a regular basis, the thing is this is not really a summer treatment. So in the summer, I usually don't do it for like but three, four months. Depends, I mean, if we have like a couple of weeks where the weather is not good at all, and you have a lot of rain coming, or depending on the climate where you live, you can um, do it in the summer as well. Just really be careful with the sun afterwards for about a week or so. But in the winter, I really like doing it like once a week, or once every couple of weeks at least. Now I started working on the other side. Like I said, you could go gently under the eyes. On the top of the eyelid, what you would want to do you can go on the orbital bone here, just on the top. Don't go right on the eyelids because they're just very thin and you don't want to tug or pull on them. So very, very gently just under the eyebrows on both sides. And continue just upward motion, circular motion. It actually feels nice. You don't need to do each area for a very long time. A few minutes, three to five minutes is more than enough. I'm going to start in the forehead, I'm going to start in the middle and work my way out and up. The forehead can be quite painful and also often it makes me sneeze like crazy, but not because I have the lidocaine, it's not so bad, but I do feel it. And I will be sneezing, it's coming, oh, almost. <coughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to avoid that, it's kind of like when you're getting your eyebrows done. There's something there that just triggers the sneezing reflex. This is why I don't start with the forehead. See, it's getting really nice and red now. And afterwards, it's nice to do a pack or some kind of a mask to relax the skin and to help absorb more of this good stuff that we're putting on our face. Okay, I have to blow my nose and wipe away my tears. And here we go. We're going to start on the neck area. Big problem area for most of us. And the skin is very thin here. So doing micro needling on a regular basis can be so helpful for the lines, for keeping the skin tight. Make sure you do the chin. There's also some serums you can buy to help reduce the double chin area, to actually melt the fat. I remember using that a few years ago. I don't have any right now, but that can also be very helpful. I don't know if this machine goes deep enough for that, but it's worth a try. And then don't forget about the chest area. I need to add a bit more serum. That's the only problem with this one is that it's, the compartment is very small, so I have to keep adding it and adding it. I think the ones that you can buy these pens, even on Amazon, they have a larger one, so you can just add all your serum at once, which would be much more helpful. And I have to be so careful because there's a little hole there, so if I don't hold it straight, it will actually spill. So this part here, all the sun damage and everything, when we overdo it. I mean, the sun is super important. So first priority is to get as much sun as you can in a healthy way. Your body simply can't survive without it. I don't ever wear sunscreen. I'm not a fan of sunscreen at all. Most of them are very, very toxic, and I think your skin needs to be exposed to sun. But this is the area that gets the most sun, even when you walk around with low-cut tops and tank tops and things like that. So for some reason, this area does age a lot faster. And also the way we sleep, you know, when we're sleeping and I kind of sleep on my side, on my stomach, so it's all scrunched up during the night. You see how red this part gets? And like I said, each area, just for a few minutes, keep reapplying the serum. It's almost gone, so I'll be done in a few minutes. And then whatever serum you have left, you can just apply it all over your face. 
neck and just let it absorb. All the pores are open and they will remain like that for a little bit. So anything that you put on it afterwards will absorb much better. So that's pretty much for me. I'm red as a lobster, but like I said, by tomorrow, I will definitely settle down. That's why I like to do it in the evening, so I don't scare my family. I did have a little bit of bleeding. I don't normally, so I'm not sure why. Maybe I was a little bit more sensitive in this area today. I'm gonna to be doing my scalp next. The only difference with doing my scalp is I don't do the circular motions. I actually do like little steps. I just go like this a little bit at a time. And I do, I focus mostly on this area where the hair would be thinning. And because I do this regularly and also PRP treatments, um, my hair has improved so much. I mean, I was really losing a lot of hair and it was very concerning to me. So it's so nice that I can have these, this whole setup at home. And even if I can't get to the salon, which is kind of difficult right now because we can't leave our towns. So then I can at least do these treatments myself. So I'll be doing the scalp next. I'm not going to show that to you guys because it's, it's basically the same thing. But like I said, just little steps and I just let the needles go in deep like this. And I will go a little bit deeper on the scalp as well. So the scalp is a little bit more painful, I have to tell you that, and I didn't put any cream on it, I should have. So you wanna do this like the night before you would um, wash your hair and just let it, leave it on there overnight and let the stuff work, do its magic. And guys, um, that's all I have for you today. I hope I answered all your questions about my core needling. If I didn't, please feel free to ask me below. I try to think of everything that's important and all the different things that might, might come up. But uh, do try this for yourself if this is something that appeals to you or perhaps go to a salon first and let a professional do it and see how your skin responds, how you like it and what the end result is, which I'm sure you will love. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe and please check out my book below with over 100 anti-aging tips that you will also love. Thanks for watching, guys.